and he was telling me how his friends was looking at him like why is he talking to me and all of this shit. and I was like first of all your friends wish they could get me stop being a little bitch if your friends were saying that about you imagine what they thinking about you now that you in my phone begging for me back to my channel and if you're new here I hope you enjoy and I hope you stay for a while we are on day three of my five days of love which is five story times leading up onto Valentine's Day and I hope you guys enjoyed the first two videos I was talking about this F boy named Travis and basically he ruined my life in the short span that I've known him okay but today's video is not about Travis thank God cuz I'm I'm already tired of him tired of him but I do have more stories on him so if you liked him comment below on those videos and let me know if you want me to tell some more stories about me and F boy Travis. Today I'm going to go over my Tinder love story. Oh, it was so cute. <laughs> Say psych. It should be called my Tinder horrible love story, but um I'm going to get into that. I'm going to get into that. So without further ado, let's get to it. Lord, Tinder, 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 all these apps. Y'all be on Plenty of Fish and, and what is this, Bumble? I've never been on Bumble. I've never been on, I've only, only been on Tinder. That was the only app I've ever been on, like a love app or whatever. People be saying, like, I just, I just know, like, it's not for me because, like, just people get too excited. Like, the boys, they get excited when they see a pretty girl. You know, and it's just like, they bombard me. You know what I mean? So I, I figured I wouldn't like an app like that. And I'm not tooting my own horn. Actually, I'm tooting my own horn. Beep. I don't care. This was in 2015 as well. This was after I dealt with F Boy Travis. This was the end of the year, the end of 2015. I was still single. I, well, not still single because I done had F Boy Travis. And then I'm like, y'all, like, I really need to be single at this point like I just need to love myself I need to learn how to self-love and be alone and enjoy my own company because these dudes is not they're not getting it right and they not they don't got their shit together and I just I'm not about to deal with that like I don't want to have to teach you how to treat a woman just you should know you know so I didn't have that patience I was like this is time for me to just love myself and enjoy my own company and you know what I'm just gonna go on a few days because who don't like a free dinner who don't and honestly as you're a woman you just need some type of like flirtation and some type of like um what is that called when when you just like the uh, attention that's what it is I needed some attention I needed attention so I was like you know what everybody's talking about tinder that's when tinder I feel like was like big I don't know if it just came out but that's when it was a pretty big deal so I was like you know what I'm gonna hop on this way to tinder and I'm gonna see what's out there maybe I could find love on tinder or maybe I could just get some free dates or just chill or meet somebody cool and just be friends with them you never know so your girl Hopped right on Tinder, and I was like, all right, let's play around. I'm bored. I'm going to swipe mostly, is it left? Right? Wait, left. Left. So you swipe left if you don't like them. You swipe right if you like them. So I was swiping left, 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 left. There were a lot, a lot of lefts because I'm a picky bitch. Like, I don't really like people, and you got to be real cute, or you got to have, like, a nice body, and then you got to not know people that I know. That was another thing, because with Tinder, it connects to your Facebook. So, if you know somebody that knows this other person on Tinder, it automatically tells you from the main page. So, you don't even need to uh, match with them for them to tell you, like, who they know. I'm like, I don't want to know nobody that knows people from any of my schools. I don't want people that know anybody that knows me period so I was swiping left a lot a lot and then I started getting bored I'm like okay this is not working <laughs> like this is just is not working let let me let me match with some people okay so I, you know I was, I was still being picky but I was going through and I'm like all right this guy he looks he looks all right like his face is I probably give his face like around the six maybe seven ish yeah he wasn't my, my type like that but he had a nice body he had a picture where he was holding up his shirt and he had like a 40 pack okay and that 
turned me on. And I was like, ooh, you got a nice body. So uh, maybe you could take me on a date. What you working with, boo? What you, what you working with? So I matched with him, and then there was another guy that I matched with. I think I only matched with him because he was like, I feel like he was like 6'6". He was really, really tall. Um, he dressed really nicely. He had all designer on. So I was like, okay, he, he could take me on an expensive date. But most of his pictures, he had like sunglasses on. He was trying to be like mysterious kind of. And I was like, all right, whatever. I'll match with him. And then the third guy I matched with, he was another tall guy. I matched with him. He looked like he just was like chill. Like his face wasn't like something I was like, damn, boo, like you fine. But he was decent. Like he, I was like, you know, I'm not that type of girl that's like, you gotta be like a model. I don't, I don't care like if like how your face is really. If you have a nice personality, if you work out, if you have goals, if you treat me good, like I like that. Like you can win me over by your personality. So I'm like, you know what? He's tall. He looks like he's fun, like he looks like he's cool. I don't know what it was about his profile that made me really like match with him, but I matched with him and I was like, okay, listen, I got three under the belt. I don't need no more, I don't need no more. So I started chatting with these three guys and the first one, we're gonna call him 40 pack because of his abs. He was cool, like he was chatting with me consistently, consistently. And nothing was out of the ordinary, it was like mad chill as normal and he was a either a firefighter or correction officer i want to say he was like in corrections or something like that because he was definitely somebody that worked for like the state of new york or the city of new york he had one of those good jobs where he can get overtime and basically he got money right so i mean not that that's a big big deal but you know i was making pretty pretty good money for my age i have my own car i have my own apartment uh, i didn't depend on my parents for anything never so i don't want a guy that lives with their parents i don't want a guy that doesn't have a car you know like that was the type of vibe that i was feeling like i'm like yo if i'm gonna deal with you and you never know where it could go like i want to be able to like be able to take it serious if i wanted to okay so that's that's the mind frame that i was thinking one day like i was coming home from work i was coming out from hanging out with my friends something like that and you know we're chatting here and there whatever like i'm a stoplight and i'm like looking at my phone texting him and he was like yeah i'm not too far from where you're at right now or whatever and i was like oh, okay like you know what let me let me swing on by real quick and say what up to you like it was gonna be a five minute thing i was like i don't have much time i have to go home i just want to say hi see you in person since we've been talking so often and i just want to you know just just meet you real quick or whatever and he was like cool like no problem like come here and i met him i pulled up and he came outside and he was like just dressed regular he had tims on jeans on t-shirt uh i don't remember anything too crazy his face like i said it was still like a six or seven it wasn't nothing like too attractive for me and i was like mm, you still like the same yeah like you at you at so we're talking we're chatting i don't know if he could tell that i wasn't like feeling him like that but next thing you know he goes yeah so you was like so concerned with like my abs or whatever and i was like was I, I? I just remember asking if that's a real picture because you know you have like nice abs, you have a nice shape. I just wanted to know if that was real. And he was like, "Well, yeah, you wanna you wanna fill it?" And he lifted up his shirt, and I was like, "Oh, okay." And he was like, "No, fill my abs. They're real. They're real. Fill it, fill it." And I was like, "Oh, okay, nice washboard, dope, <laughs> good. I gotta go now." So. I'll talk to you later. So I got it back in the car and I went home and I decided he is not for me. I didn't like the fact that the first meeting, he wanted me to fill his abs. Like, I could care less, really, about filling them. If you told me they're real, they better be real. You know what I mean? Like, the fact that you want me to fill your body, you already trying to, like, take it to the next step. And you're not, you're not really even my type like that. So, like, I'm good one off the list guy number two who was like six feet six inches six, he was really really tall I'm, I'm, I, he had to have been like six 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 seven like he was really really tall and like I said he wore a lot of designer he wore glasses in most of his pictures so like we're chatting here and there here and there he's cool you know he was real chill like I actually liked his vibe like he wasn't all up on me he wasn't like sweating me he was real chill but something about him made me feel like he knew me because he kept saying something like, oh, you don't really, you don't know who I am? And I'm like, no, who are you? Like, stop asking me that. I just, I don't know who you are. If I knew, I would have said it. So 
don't know if he knew me or he was like a celebrity kind of but he couldn't have been because I feel like I should have known I, I, I don't know maybe he was a basketball player or something I have no idea but I could not I didn't know who he was and he kept asking me that and like that was turning me off because it's just like you don't tell me who you are I don't know so stop asking me that stupid shit okay are you dumb then I go on to ask every guy at that time that I was dating or trying to talk to or getting to know if they had children there's nothing against people who have children at all who are single who are dating I don't care do your thing like you're probably an amazing parent I myself do not have children I did not have children and I was not trying to date somebody that had kids I asked hey do you have kids like how's hot like what's going on like how's your life like tell me more about yourself and he said yeah I have kids but it's complicated what like why is that the first thing out your mouth like you either have kids yes or no and how many and who are they and how old or you don't so that caught me off guard I'm like what you mean like what you what you mean like it's complicated that's weird he ended the conversation not me him so I didn't even have a I didn't even get a chance to ask him so the next day comes around and he hits me up like everything is cool like hey when you want to have dinner blah 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 and I'm like hun hun like we we didn't finish talking from yesterday like do you got kids like yes or no now it's complicated are you okay tell me like give me some some information like what's going on so then he goes yeah i have kids and i was like okay that's so cool like give, give me more information how many kids do you have he said he has four kids you have four kids four four like two times two that's how many kids you have i'm just like Really? Are you lying or are you joking with me? And he was like, oh, is that a problem? I'm like, simmer down, simmer down. I just asked if you was lying or are you, are you serious? Is, do you really have four kids? Because you're 27, like you're my age and uh, I don't have any kids. And you're on Tinder and I just, I'm trying to figure out like what's going on here. Like with four kids, like maybe you would have settled down with one of your baby mamas or, or the one that you had all them kids. Like I don't get it. I don't get it. I don't, I'm not, I'm trying to understand. And and he kind of started getting defensive and it was just like like I said it's complicated we'll talk about it another time when are you free for dinner <coughs> I'm not free for dinner I, you know what I actually I don't like dinner I, I don't I don't eat it sorry I'm so sorry like I think I just wasted your time but I, I'm gonna apologize now so um he was asked off the list <laughs> obviously so now we're down to guy number three guy number three I'm gonna name him Kevin so like I said Kevin was really tall he was like 6'4 so that was like a little turn off for me so you know he was so chill he was so nice he was so relaxed like he didn't sweat me either Kevin was so like normal and I loved it and when I say normal uh, the thing is, is like I either was talking to athletes or artists, um, basically like people that were in the limelight, celebrities, people that had like a status. Whenever they walked into the room, people knew who they were. And if I was with them, then they knew who I were. And it was always like I had to uphold like a certain, like not persona, but look and, and stuff like that. Like even though they were mad chill, they were normal on the inside. Like when we would like get in the house or go to dinner, just me and them, it was so like normal. But but like just anytime we would go to dinner I had to be like upscale all the time like you know I, I didn't really want to like wear Jordans and my jeans and stuff like I always had to be in like some nice ass popping like red bottoms and my like Gucci and, and Chanel and all of that stuff okay Louis all of that and if I was talking to a regular guy which is a guy that doesn't have that type of status he was like on my ball sack okay he was on me like white on rice he was sweating me I'm sweating now he was just like looking at me like like trying to show me off and and I couldn't stand that like I hated that like don't try to throw me on your Instagram I don't want to be considered your girl don't try to show me off to all your friends don't try to get me to meet your mom like when it got like I swear people was like ready to do that in like a week and I'm like bro I didn't even kiss you like can you chill like chill out be like chill when I was talking to Kevin he wasn't treating me like this trophy that I felt like other guys were treating me at so it just felt like 
a breath of fresh air. Honestly, he reminded me of my ex, which is not my husband, which is like very interesting. But then he did it, which is why I had to cut it off. And I'm gonna get there. I'm gonna get there. So the first time me and Kevin decided to hang out, we decided to go to a bar and some random bar on like the Lower East Side in New York City. And it wasn't too busy. It wasn't too quiet. Like there was like a little bit of music playing. It was a bar that had um like games in it or whatever even though we didn't play any games we just sat at the bar we talked we chatted and it was cool like i had a great time it was so normal it, i felt like i was i knew him for a long time like we just kept talking and talking like it was never a dull moment he was funny and that was another thing that got me because i like a funny person like i like to be funny i like somebody that can make me laugh and he made me laugh in my head i'm like you know you ain't chris brown but like you got like a really really nice smile he had pearly white teeth and he had great conversation and he was funny he picked up the tab and it was good he wasn't sweating me he wasn't too thirsty but he wasn't too standoffish and wanted me to like you know take control and be all over him so I was just like all right this 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 might work like he's cool as shit like cool I feel like I have a very drawing personality like I'm a person that people tend to get magnified to like they get they get attracted to and they just want more and more and more it's always like that like like I feel like when I meet somebody or when I used to meet somebody like it's just like once we met up and talked and stuff they just could not get enough of me and it was just like constant like it goes so fast and that's what was happening with me and Kevin all right every day we was talking all day and every couple of nights we would go hang out, we would go to a random bar, we would just drink and just talk and chat. And it took about, I wanna say like two weeks before I even like kissed him. I was really trying to like hold my distance. Like we was hanging out a lot, we was talking a lot. He was so cool, he was so chill. But I'm just like, I don't want another relationship. And the thing was, I knew he did. So, you know, when you talk and you hang out a lot, you kind of figure out what the person wanted. And I was happy he didn't want a booty call. I was happy he wasn't looking for somebody just to like smash and pass or just somebody to just like waste time with. But I was not ready for another relationship or I just didn't know if I wanted another relationship or I didn't know if I wanted a relationship with him. Like I just didn't know. I was just enjoying my time. You know, like just enjoying my peace, like chilling with the guy, getting that attention that us woman be wanting and like just chilling with him so like I was cool with that but I, I know he like started really 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 liking me really liking me after I kissed him guys I don't know why I did it why why did I do it something must have went off in his brain and he was like she's the one for me she is the one for me now this guy worked for a brand that worked particularly close with this radio station in New York City and this particular radio station I happen to know quite a few of the DJs on this station this station was having a concert okay now this concert is a big concert they have it every single year around holiday time this was like again towards the end of 2015 so we was either in November October December I don't know whenever they hold that concert this was when they had that concert he got free tickets he decided to ask me to go and I said yeah sure no problem of course why not should be fun uh fun Ooh. we go to this concert and you know like we're chilling we're sitting there he wound up telling me that he had free seats to go in like some box area with his other employees but he wanted to impress me so he got floor level seats so we could be pretty up close or whatever I don't know why you told me that I don't care honestly I just went to the concert to have fun with you I don't really even care about the concert because I knew half of the people that was on the damn stage and if I wanted to I could be on the stage with them or be behind the stage with them so you know, I'm just there chilling. I'm, I'm having a good time. He's having a good time. So I take out my phone and you know, we got Snapchat. So I was like, let me Snapchat a little bit. So I'm getting like the, the concert or whatever. And I'm getting me because you know, it's my Snapchat. So I want me on it. And you know, he tries to get in and I'm like, 
like you know like let me just it's, it's done like my phone's dying so I'm just I'm just not I'm not gonna like you know don't worry about it so I stopped snapchatting because you know I'm not the type of girl to be putting dudes up all up on my page and stuff like that like I just was not the type of person the only guy who has ever been on my page has been my man's which is now my husband I just was not trying to be that type of girl that always had a new guy on their Instagram every so often and I feel like he got low-key offended actually he got high-key offended because he had just went and got some snacks and when he came back that's when he caught me doing the snapchat and tried to sneak in and then he goes you know what I saw some of my uh, co-workers I'm gonna go say hi is that okay and I was like sure no problem so now he leaves again and every time he left it was like a good 20 minutes like it was mad long this dude would be gone for so I'm just there enjoying my company by myself basically like I feel like a whole set went on when he came by the time he came back and I was like damn all right like that that was pretty long he was just like oh no like they just they wouldn't let me go and they just they want me to come backstage with them like do you want to go backstage I was like honestly I'm good right here like I'm I just want to see the show I really don't want to go backstage because honestly I didn't want to see anybody that I knew okay and I don't want to have to introduce him I don't want to see nobody I, I just wanted to just chill with him and, and, and vibe with him okay so he you know we're chilling there for like another like you know like a good I want to say 10 minutes not even like like 10 minutes he takes out his phone and he starts taking pictures and he starts snapchatting he puts me on his snapchat I don't care that's your page that ain't my page puts me on a snapchat cool everything so he winds up taking a picture of himself and then he goes oh let's take a picture he gets somebody to take a picture of me and them. Um, he likes the picture. He's like, do you like the picture? I was like, yeah, it's a cool picture, it's cool. So then he asked me, do you mind if I post it? I said, sure, no problem, you can post it, I don't care. And then I said, hold up. <coughs> what, what, are you, what are you gonna say when you post it? Because, you know, like, I just, I just gotta make sure, like, what, what are you gonna say? And he gave me this look, like he wanted to kill me. And then he just put his phone away. He was like, you know what, forget it. It's okay, I'm not gonna post it. And I was like, Okay, no problem. So we chilling. I, I, I'm ready to like, you know, vibe out with him, watch the show. But five minutes goes by, and he goes, you know what? I'll be right back. I said, okay. I'm not gonna keep questioning you as to why you keep leaving me at this damn concert alone when I came to chill with you. He leaves. This time he takes like a half an hour. I kid you not. He takes so long that the girl next to me that was with her dude started talking to me and she thought I was there by myself the whole time. Like, like really? Like really Kevin? Kevin, like, damn dude, you messing up for real. Like I, I had like, you know, I had a little bit of love for you and now is drizzling away so the concert is ending and kevin finally comes back right before it's about to wrap up and he's like hey okay like all right are you ready to go because they're about to end and like we probably should leave before everybody starts leaving y'all i'm so mad like i'm looking at kevin like are you like are you dead ass like you could have just kept saying where you was at and I could have just left on my own because this is ridiculous. You basically got tickets to a concert for me to enjoy by myself and you can go be with whoever it was that you wanted to be with, your coworkers, whatever. Like if you got mad at me, you could have just said something. Like I was just so fed up. But I'm the type of girl that I learned that sometimes it's just better not to say anything. Even though it says it all over my face, it's better for me not to open my mouth because I can get real nasty, I can get real disrespectful, and I didn't want to get to that point with him yet because, you know, we're still new, we're still, you know, new. I just looked at him, and I'm like, let's go. Grab my shit, we walking out the door, he's like, oh, everything's alright? I'm like, I'm good. He's like, are you sure? Because like, you seem like you're giving me an attitude. And I was like, oh, really? I'm good. I'm good. Good night. Bye. You don't have to walk me to the train station. You don't have I'm good. I will talk to you whenever. The next couple days after that, I was kind of like, I'm just so through with Kevin. Like, I just didn't appreciate that. I didn't like that at all. So I kind of didn't even really want to talk to him. So I was ignoring him for like a good two, three days. And then we met up 
we talked about it. He told me he was feeling away. He didn't know how to express that to me. He didn't want to seem crazy. He really liked me. And, you know, he wasn't going to put it up as me as his girlfriend, but it just hurt his feelings that I would even ask that. And I looked like I felt away if he was to do that. Whatever. We just had a conversation about it, and I let it go because he was nice. And, you know, that was our, like, you know, I'm like, maybe I'm bugging out or whatever. And I get it. He wasn't his feelings. Like, it's whatever. I, whatever. I was bored. I was like, whatever. So me and Kevin kept going on these random days as per usual We wasn't doing anything like out the ordinary just going getting drinks here and there going get dinner here and there uh, I would go to his house. He would cook me dinner. We drink wine. I go home It was like that sort of situation like we was chilling. We wasn't doing anything physical We would maximum probably kiss but it wasn't like to that like degree. You know what I'm saying? One day, I'm chilling with Kevin, I'm at his house, he cooks dinner for me, he gets wine, and we're watching TV, we're just chilling. Now, it was supposed to be a snowstorm the next day, and I knew this, but I was like, you know what, like, let's just hang out anyway, I can leave, you know, like, you know, not too late tonight, get home in time, and I'll be good. No problem, no harm done, it's all good. Now, as I'm at Kevin's house and we're chilling, we're eating dinner, the reports and the forecast starts coming in and this snowstorm was supposed to be like a pretty bad snowstorm, okay? Now, usually when it's a really, really bad snowstorm, they cancel school. Bam, perfect, like, but I'm not in school. I go to work, I'm a manager, so I usually always gotta go to work, even when it is like weather situations like this. But I live really, really far, so my job kind of gave me some leeway, so I was like, okay, like maybe I can get away with this one because my assistant manager lives close, maybe I can get my assistant manager to go in and I could just like, you know, stay home or whatever. So that's what I was like planning. I was trying to plan my game plan. I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave here by like 9 p.m. I'm gonna go home and like we're gonna be good. I could just get the day off and just chill at home and you know, just relax. 9 p.m. comes and I am drunk. I am drunk. I think I drank a whole bottle of wine by myself and I was just so tired. I had a long day. I was full. I was sleepy. So I was like, yo, I'm so tired. I gotta go. I have to go now or I'm not going. And he said, no, you know what? Like, how about you just, you could just spend the night. Like, don't worry about it. You can leave in the morning. Like, you know, you'll leave before the snowstorm comes. Like, it's okay. You can spend the night. And I wanted to say no, but I was really drunk and I did not want to drive home. It was cold and he lived in like the west bubble fuck of Brooklyn, like super, 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 super far from where I lived. I lived in Harlem and I was just like, damn, okay, fine, I'll spend the night, no problem. And that's what happened. I asked him to give me some clothes to change into and I went to go lay down and I went to go to sleep. Now, of course, he's trying to like kiss me, he's trying to like bother me and I'm just like, nah, I'm good. Like, I don't really want to, you know, take it there with you like that or whatever. And I kind of hurt his feelings again. Like, dude, you know what? You need a backbone because you're not going to get everything you want. So, you need to just get over it. And yeah, so it hurt his feelings. He, he kind of got his little attitude again. And I was just like, I'm just gonna go to bed. Like, I'm tired. Like, like don't try to take advantage of me because I'm drunk. Like, I'm tired. Like, let me go to bed. Went to bed. Woke up in the morning. Y'all, this snow was like, it was like three feet tall. It was so much snow outside. Like, I, I looked out his window and I was losing my shit because I'm like, how am I going to get my car out the snow? How am I going to get home? It was that bad. Like, they didn't plow the streets out there in this part of Brooklyn. So, he was looking out the window. He was like, damn, it's a lot of snow. Like, you know, why don't you just stay here? Like, you can stay here. I'm off from work, you know, see if you can get off. Now, I was already on my phone communicating with my job as soon as I opened my eyes and I saw the snow because I started losing my shit. And I was already off from work. But... I'm still acting like I'm on my phone and I'm still acting like I gotta go in because I just didn't want to stay there anymore. He, by that time, the fact that he wanted to like mess with me and he was just like catching these attitudes, like it pissed me off. Like it pissed me off to like the 30, 40, 50th level degree of piss off. I cannot stand when a guy gets an attitude with you and then they don't say nothing and like don't have no little hissy fit. Like you're not a bitch. You a dude, get it together, open your mouth or whatever and get over it. Like I just, I could not stand it. So I was pissed off and I'm like, I gotta go home. I'm sorry, like you're gonna have to help me dig my car out and I gotta go home. And that's exactly what I did. I made him help dig my car out and I drove three hours cause it took me three hours which it only takes about an hour max 
to get there, even though it was so far, you know, if there's traffic, maybe an hour and a half, it took me three hours. There was no traffic, just snow and ice. And I was swerving and I was skidding and I was a lot of stuff, but I got home because I was not about to stay up in that boy's house. Hell to the no, hell to the no. I was so turned off. And after that, I didn't really want to talk to him. I don't, I did not even want to talk to him after that. So I was ignoring him. I wasn't talking to him. He was getting frustrated. I could tell he was having his little hissy fits through the phone because I was ignoring him and I was not feeling this dude anymore. It got to the point where we had a huge argument and I basically wound up calling him a little bitch. He tried to tell me his friends looked at me like I was like some type of thought because my model pictures, it was urban modeling. Like I don't know if y'all saw my pictures, but you can probably Google it. And like, you know, my bodies are like, I'm a sexy urban model. Well, I was. And he was telling me how his friends was looking at him like, why is he talking to me and all of this shit. And I was like, first of all, your friends wish they could get me. Stop being a little bitch. If your friends were saying that about you, imagine what they thinking about you now that you in my phone begging for me back. Like... I just went off and he got offended we was going back and forth we stopped talking and then I want to say two months later he apologized to me and he told me he was sorry and he just felt really really bad about how our conversation ended off and I was like cool no problem appreciate that it's all good um I didn't take anything to heart I, I could care less and that's it like we friends on Instagram we friends on um are we friends on Facebook? I think we just friends on Instagram. He's doing his whole thing. I see his little career taking off. I'm very proud of him. I have no hard feelings for him. I hope he doesn't see this video and know I'm talking about him. <laughs> but it's all love. Like I said, I wish him the best. It was a very interesting, interesting, interesting time. Kevin, um, you funny, dude. You funny. I hope I hope you found what you was looking for, though. I really do. I do. I do. So that is the end of my Tinder love story. This was a long one. I'm sorry, but I have to, you know, I like to give full details. So, you know, when you watch my, my story time videos, make sure you get your wine. Make sure, you know, you pull up some snacks or whatever, some candy. Sit down with your friends and enjoy it. Share this video with your friends if you enjoyed it. Let me know if you guys had any crazy situations with meeting guys online. Because I find that meeting guys online is like super weird all the time all the time like I don't ever want to meet a guy online and I never have to because I'm finally married locked down and I'm good off of that stuff okay give this video a thumbs up follow me on Instagram at least unique subscribe to my channel thank you so much turn my post notifications on that's even better I love you more for that and make sure you stay tuned for my future videos I have two more days of my five days of love and I have a lot a lot a lot a lot a lot of good content coming your way now I do have a channel with me and my husband and if you want to hear a cute lovey-dovey story with me and my husband about our favorite Valentine's Day that video will be dropping later on tonight so make sure you check that channel out it is called the Saints and you can find it in the description box below thank you so much for watching loveys love y'all to death I can't believe y'all listen to my annoying ass keep it geek freak chic and sleek but most importantly, keep it unique. Bye, love this.